How's it going guys? Hope you're all doing well. Tonight I'm going to share with you a little project of mine that I've been working on for the past little while and haven't really shared anything from yet. This is my 4x4 pepper tent. So this tent is being lit by an HLG 550 kind of homebrew edition where it's not the really nice looking pre-assembled light that you get but it's the same deal just built out of the different components. So this thing has two QB288s in 4000K and two of them in 3000K and they're all being pushed by an HLG 480H C2100B driver. I think the real HLG 550 uses an A version, but close enough, right? And it's got that pod on it, which is kind of handy too. So this thing's rocking seven different buckets of Kratky peppers. Kratky, of course, is a hydroponic method of growing where the plant literally just sits in a tub or a bucket or whatever full of nutrient solution, and there are no pumps, there's no aer aeration or anything. It's just sitting in there and, and stewing and growing. And it actually works pretty damn well for peppers. You know, I got the idea from another YouTuber by the name of Kang Star. And this dude is like a pepper expert and he goes cracky for a lot of his grows too. So his peppers looked really good. I figured I'd give it a shot and sure enough, they're doing really well. So I'll give you the rundown of what I'm growing in here. I have two jalapeno plants in the corners. This is the first one. This one is doing it's probably doing better than the other one. Overall, the plant is smaller, but it has uh, only maybe 10 or 15 pods on it, and they're all like a reasonable size. Like they're growing nicely, they're getting bigger. They're still pretty small right now. I actually just picked one today and tried it, and it was, it was spicy, it was good. So I'm looking forward to all these things turning, you know, a little bit, uh, getting a little bit bigger, ripening a bit. But the other jalapeno plant in this corner here is like a real busybody that seems to be purely obsessed with just making flowers, not really doing shit, like not doing anything else. <laughs> if you look under it, there's probably like probably 50 of these little micro peppers on it that I don't know if they're just really young and I never noticed them before or if they've been around for a while and they're just like really lazy and not growing. But I guess I'll figure that out in the next couple of weeks but they're everywhere everywhere you look on this plant there's like five flowers and then you know like a little pod that's probably the biggest one on the plant right there it's like you know a couple inches so those are the jalapenos in this corner here is probably like the superstar of the whole operation this is a banana pepper plant and it is so busy like if you look right in the middle, there's so many of these things growing. They're like running out of space. And they're pretty big peppers too. So it probably won't be long before they start to turn yellow. But there's a lot of new ones too, like towards the top. A lot of new growth happening. So they're killing it. This pepper is doing really well. And it just looks like super healthy too. And then in this corner here is pepper that's actually meant to be edible like like jalapenos and banana peppers are definitely not bad the ones i have in the middle are like don't even don't even fucking bother eating these things just grow them because they look cool but this is a sweet cow horn pepper and it should really be a sweet pepper like something that is enjoyable to eat and this plant in particular is it ended up pretty small but it's really like there's a major party going on in the center of it where all these peppers are just kind of grinding on each other. Nobody can really breathe or move, but for some reason they keep growing there. Like, that's a big ass pepper right there. But yeah, they all seem to be just trying to pack into this like tiny little space. Even this little dude is, is like, oh shit, like I'm kind of out of the loop here. So he's curling so he can try and grow back into these dudes. I, I'm not really sure what's going on, but maybe need to like revisit the strategy on this plant a little bit. You know, maybe like check this spot out. Maybe try growing there or something. I don't know. So in the middle, these are all the super hots. The first one here is a Maruga scorpion. The spawn of Satan. I made a video of me eating one of these things, a ripe one. I think it was last year. And I swear it almost killed me because it was so spicy that when I swallowed it, I could feel my throat like constricting and you can hear me like wheezing in the video trying to breathe so I have no idea why I'm growing them again but I think it's just because I don't know they're just fun and they look so so brutal 
but I think maybe this time instead of eating the pod raw, I'll make some flakes out of it or some salt or something that, you know, something that's less likely to kill me and maybe eat it in moderation because apparently that's something you can do. So I have a, yeah, those are the scorpions. In the middle is a seven pot bubble gum, red. And then I think at the end is a Trinidad scorpion red. So only a handful of pods on these ones, but they look really nice, nice dark green. And they're a lot shorter than the other peppers. They're just kind of hanging out. Anyway, that's it for now. I will uh, try to update this as I go, as things start to ripen and turn colors and give you another video. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you then.